Hello everybody. Um welcome back to the channel. If you visited before, if not, welcome. Okay, so um today's video is going over a few items that the wife went out to the hobby store and got for me. Um a few freight cars, um for my uh HO um Lay out in the basement. Um, and let's go to it. Okay. The first car she got me was a. Uh, it's a uh, Bachman 40 foot gondola. Take it out of the box. Okay, so it didn't come in, you know, a good box or anything. Has metal wheels, uh, knuckle couplers, but right there, this is a Canadian national car. Look how they spell Canadian. So I, I figured, you know, I'll give Bachman a try. I haven't had any Bachman HO stuff since the late 80s early 90s so this is a welcome back to HO and it sucks so they got it right on this side but for fourteen bucks at my hobby town you know what you know what you gonna do about it you know like I said um it weighs pretty weighs a pretty good amount um, metal wheel sets and this car I tried to look it up on the internet so when I start weathering it I could you know get a prototypical um, picture to do it with but I couldn't but on the side there the build date is 1056 so the trucks on here are arch I forgot what they call it arch something so oh excuse me so yeah 14 bucks for 20 more bucks I could have got a Acura 65 foot gondola and been you know a little happier with it okay all right moving on I don't know if you guys know I don't know about this company but it's called scale trains and they're out of uh, Tennessee and I think this is a fairly new uh, company I've been in in scale so somebody correct me if I'm wrong so I bought she got two of these for me and um, They were thirteen ninety nine at my local store, and she got two. She got me a Wisconsin Central and a CSX. Now, if anybody has ever had a scale train, this is the um, tier one. I'm gonna say tier one, um, tier one or tier two, which means you have to assemble it. And what I mean by assemble was it comes in two sections. You have to put the wheel sets on, you have to put the knuckle couplers on, and you have to put the uh, car body on top of the uh, frame. So, this is what it looks like. Um, everything's crisp if you want to compare it to a better quality car. Here is a uh, Athens, um, Athens uh, Genesis, not Genesis, uh, ready to roll freight car. I picked this up a while ago. Uh, it has the sliding doors on it. Um, everything on this car I like. Um, so yeah, if you want to compare it to it, I mean. You know, looks pretty, 
pretty comparable to it, even though it has the long uh, shank couplers for the car body. Um, I tried to find prototypical uh, pictures of the 157908, but CSX doesn't have any. The only 1579s they have are six, and they're nowhere near the 08. I think the lowest one was 42, and it goes up to, I think the highest one was 70-something. And to make matters worse, it had a waffle side on it, and CSX rarely have waffle side boxcars. So. And on these, the doors, they swing to the left and to the right. Some of the cars were... Uh, refurbished and they only have one door sort of like this guy here and also with this guy Athens I don't know what they were doing but the road number pretty much doesn't exist for the 40 foot high cube box cars I mean I'm gonna use this for uh, paper stock but you know you can't find any anything prototypical so um I'm going to take it out of the box. I like the boxes these come in. Very nice. Um, they come well packaged, y'all. I mean, pretty good. And see, you take your car body out. And on the inside, here are your wheel sets. And here are your knuckle couplers. And you got the undercarriage with a weight on it. And last but not least, it comes with a little pamphlet. It gives you a little background information about the uh, box car. These are um, the uh, 50 foot, 50 foot box car. Um, yeah, it comes with all of this. You just fold it down. Tells you about your warranty. Yes, and again, they are in Tennessee. This is a Tennessee-based company. And here are your instructions as far as to how to put this together. Pretty simple. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to do it. And there is your parts list. If you ever lose anything, break anything. And once again, there they are. Benton, Tennessee. Haven't been to Tennessee in a while. So, that's that. And, you know, here's the car body. Nothing spectacular. So, yeah, that's that. So, moving on. Let's uh, put this back in there. That. I'm not gonna worry about that because I'm gonna be taking it out soon. All right, sorry. Okay, so that's that. Okay, now this is supposedly I'm assuming this is their tier. Tier 1 or Tier 2, um, here on the box it has their establishment date, which was the year 2015. So yeah, like I said, this is a fairly new company, and this is a GTX a tank car, 31K, and... My hobby town sells it for twenty two ninety five. I mean twenty two ninety nine. So this is a better quality unit than um, the other with the box cars I showing you. Um, oh yeah, and on the box cars, okay, on the box cars, I don't know if you can see it, but. You have the metal wheels, but the bar across is plastic. And that sucks. Doesn't suck, but, you know, then again, it was only 
couple of bucks but here is your tank car metal wheel sets all the way through you didn't have to put this one together it comes already put together um, all the lettering and markings are very legible the only thing about it is this is a crude uh, crude oil car so there's no placards there's a spot for a placard but no placard no 1993 which is for um, that's the placard for um, oil of that nature um, see they have them on each end you're supposed to have it on four sides of the cars by me driving trucks and taking containers for JB Hunt in the rail yards around Chicago you have to have four placards and they only have two spots just there and on the opposite end other than that it's a pretty good model it's nice and heavy and it rolls freely I mean it really rolls so that's that so I'm gonna put this guy back in here I'm gonna have to get some more of these units but I don't know I might I might buy one more then again I'm gonna look for something else I don't plan on having a lot of tank cars that's transporting oil anyway on the layout the only thing I'm gonna be transporting oil is for probably a few oil cars and kaolin clay cars which kaolin comes in a liquid form and a clay form so they put the clay form in the uh, cover hopper and I told her to get this because I like these um, grain hoppers this is another Bachman and this ran sorry <clears throat> I'm shaking 12 bucks can't beat it now this one here it's a low budget car but you know I like it so that's why I wanted it now this is a Bachman unit and it's actually pretty nicely done detail wise all the lettering is legible the only downfall is it comes with the plastic wheel sets which is no big deal because she also got me a whole pack of 33 inch flats well these are Bachmans you get 12 per card um, and this was 17 bucks so I will put those on and yeah because uh, back home in Georgia we get a lot of these grain cars that come from Canada they pretty much go into uh, the bronzing yard that's a big classification yard right outside Atlanta for uh, Norfolk Southern so these come through a lot so yeah just a nice little grain hopper I saw some that is Zach real half I think I'm gonna start getting a couple of those I want to get a couple of Sioux line um, freight cars and I want to get a Sioux line uh, SD60 Spartan cap but psh, I can't find any of those on the internet not even on eBay not even at the actual places actual companies so I'm probably gonna have to kit bash one and lastly I purchased this SD60 I mean why I keep saying SD60 I just want one so bad but anyway this uh, SD40 I think I picked this up for uh, 35 bucks couldn't beat it um, I don't know I might keep it in this color scheme and use it as a lease engine because I know CITF uh, CITX you know the leasing company they purchased they got a lot of these units from uh, BNSF especially these that 
I forget what paint scheme this is. But anyway, um, they got a lot of them, and they leased them out in Norfolk Southern, down in the south in Georgia. Um, you see a few of these every blue, not every blue moon, almost every other day. <laughs> um, especially in these little towns, these little uh, subsidiaries. So, um, yeah, 40 bucks, but it has the old style um, motor application and Digitrax does not make this, so I'm going to have to actually hardwire the, the, um, the decoder in to get this up to uh, DCC, which is no big deal. Uh-oh, I can't get the... There we go. Nope, there, nope. Come on. There we go. So, 35 bucks. Couldn't beat it. It's DCC. It works. It's just been sitting in the basement collecting dust. Because I still have a tabletop to build. But other than that, that is it, y'all. So, if you guys are looking into some cheap 50-foot box cars and you're not too hard on the um, detail and the high-end details of the... Uh, bigger companies like Athens and Atlas and Cato, then yeah, you should you should try this route. It's pretty cheap. Um, even though I got this one at my same hobby town for eighteen bucks. Pretty good steal. Even though right there the pain is pretty heavy, but I'm not complaining. So yeah, that's going to wrap this one up. Um, I may have up some more videos. Um, but then again, I don't know. Um, I'll try to post more frequently. But um, yeah, 20 bucks. It's yours. So yeah, y'all look them up. Y'all give them a, a try. You know. ScaleTrains.com. Give them a try. And, um, you know, just give the little guys a try, man. You know, you don't have to stick with the big guys. You already know what they got and know what they're about and, you know, all that good stuff. So, if your hobby store sells them, just try them out. It doesn't hurt. If you don't like them, hey, guess what? You got a receipt to take it back <laughs> and get what you want. And get the higher higher dollar items. You know, whatever floats your boat. So, until next time, peace.